This video felt very on theme for what I've been doing on my channel recently. We've been having a strange time together. It's fine, it's fun, it's wonderful. And one of the things I've seen requested most on the Gumball Out of Context videos, the Gravity Falls adult jokes videos, is this, the regular show. And I truly do have no context for this show. I know one thing, and one thing only. Hummus! I don't even know the premise of this show. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I have a gaming channel. I've been posting some content over there, including a Five Nights at Freddy's and Undertale gameplay so if you'd like to see me play some games the link will be in the description below I got you a lady that's not a lady could be a lady if he wants to Library. Okay, we're, we're not, I, I, I was expecting the kind of out of context videos that we got with Gumball where we had longer clips is it normal for them to be attacked beware the Dewey decimal system flip those switches hit those buttons I never said hit those buttons you got to do it like this that's, oh my God, I was about to say that that seems unwise and who knows what consequences that would have. Cause I thought the clip ended, but no, is this like a Hadron Collider? Try to keep flexing, so I started punching and slapping them and- Damn, that was changed, what the? Andrew's pissing himself laughing over here, it's- <laughs> Andrew, are those boobies? Yeah, you have no idea what you're in for. I, re I, I really don't. Stop, and now they're going crazy. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Why is why did he become a chat? What's with the Giga Chat version of him? And now he's got a deep fried drink. If he bites into that, I'm gonna lose my mind. Ah. <laughs> I've pulled this face so many times in recent videos. I can taste the Himalayas. <laughs> this is a whole different vibe of out of context and I'm not dealing well with it. Normally they've been clips where it's like, oh, it's self-contained and weird, but it still somewhat makes sense. This is just pure unadult right crazy. Also, just as an aside, I'm, I'm not a fan of the fact that he's got teeth in his beak. Kind of weird, a little bit unnerving. <laughs> that was a premium kind. Stop, stop. Why is whoever created this video serving me up random two second segments of just really intense close ups? Call me crazy, but I didn't really want to just quickly see someone hip thrusting in my face. Mordecai, I'm gonna Do they have? Dude, this has to stop. I was gonna ask if they have superpowers or something because he just managed to make himself a huge size. But then they immediately hit me with voyeuristic cameras in a toilet. How did we go from a power that looked like Jake the dog would do to having cameras where cameras shouldn't be? It's a picture of my butt cheek. <laughs> so they were trying to join back a picture of his butt cheek. Also, he says butt cheek, not cheeks. So did he take like a close up photo of precisely one cheek? Like the looks of these babies. Yeah. No. I'm trying to think of the implication too, because one of the main characters is a bird. So does that mean that birds have like human level sentience or at least have the potential to have human level sentience? That makes someone kidnapping them like that all the darker. No, not the titty man. I don't like that at all. Naked? Yeah. Okay. I don't like doing this. That's okay. You don't have to do it. I, reg I, reg I regret so much of this. We barely even cracked in on this video. My God. Did he just die? Is that what happened? Come into my lair. That one was just fun. I need more of that. Just show me more of a random dude telling me to shush and then skating away and stop showing me bouncing boobs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was a little sweet. That was nice. He was happy. He's getting a little hug. Pat on the back. Friends. Excuse me. How did someone get footage of me dancing at a party? Cheeseburger stuffed inside a cheeseburger with two deep fried cheeseburgers as buns. I cannot even fathom how someone can deal with that much grease. I actually used to work at McDonald's and we had someone order a double pounder. A quarter pounder is one patty, so the double pounder is eight patties. It was about this tall. We couldn't fit it in anything. We tried to put it in one of the burger clams, but the grease that was dripping down was so much that it started to destroy the clam. So we kind of just served it up on this clam like it was on a plate. It was gr it was one of the grossest things I've seen in person. Wait. Why? Not just the car, a limo. Why are they driving it? That's not what I want in my life. I'm sorry. 
Zooming each- Stop it with that! I don't want to see it again! No! Naughty! Go to jail! I'm trying to get some sort of idea of what the show is. I don't know why there are some weird creatures that they're apparently lighting on fire by shooting them with lasers. Is that a common occurrence? If I had the context, would it matter? Twiddling some sticks? <laughs> These are like such... Is that a pizza being used as a shuriken? Hold up. And again, did they just die? I feel like we've seen so many just offhand deaths. I don't know how to deal with it. Hey ladies, you want some of this? Is that butter? No, not them again. And it's so close up and they're jiggling. Did his boobs just sand the guy's hand? What? That... Above everything, maybe the strangest thing I've seen on this channel. You know how to break the law in all the right ways. Woo! <laughs> if only police were that cool. Where are you guys going? There's still plenty. Why are they floating? Are they ghosts? Well, hello. There was that fork ghost there as well, but they were all floating without legs. I... You're annoying him. No, you're annoying. Uh, you're annoying. You're annoying him. Oh, that guy. The ladder. Oh no, he's gonna smash his head. Oh, come on, no. Okay. Whew. I thought he was gonna fall and his head was gonna smash and I was gonna feel really bad. That dude's been through enough. Yo, punk, give us your wallet. No! Bro, he's copping so much! Fell off a ladder, got mugged. Oh, this dude as well. I feel bad for him. He's so nervous. He's so cute. Oh! My car! <laughs> Please, no. Student loans for that. Don't do it. You're gonna have to pay for that. <laughs> That's for freezing us on purpose. I thought there was gonna be some more of that uncomfortable close-up action. Instead, he just decked a guy. How many cars are they gonna crash? And why are they pulling a full GTA on him? Crash his car and then knock him out. Did he deserve it? Did... Yeah? yeah? Power to him then. Like weightlifting singlets? Dog oh, bouncing pegs! Ah. <laughs> My man's got aggression issues, I'm not gonna lie. He's been beaten up like everything. Even if that last guy deserved it, I don't think the tent did. Oh, dude, are you okay? Oh, he got stabbed before. I'm fine. I just need an ice pack. I just gotta. I gotta go home and lay down for a minute. Go to the hospital. I feel like I need to have a death counter in the corner. Or at least a near death counter. Yeah. Did that turn to steam before it hit his eye? How hot would it have to be for it to do that? I don't think anyone could speak in that style of voice and it not make me uncomfortable. It reminds me of Herbert the Pervert from Family Guy. Chew don't chew gum that you found. Oh god, this just gave me flashbacks to one time in school where I literally saw someone pull gum off of a desk and put it in their mouth and I don't think I've ever dry heaved so quickly. And it's not even like they were that young, they were like 11. I think at 11 you should know not to just put other people's strange leftover gum in your mouth. That's my hot take. I'll put the jacuzzi here. And the flat screen. Here. He's got issues, man. Why is he punching everything? And also, you know, if anyone needs to hear this, don't put a jacuzzi in the middle of your living room. Especially if it's carpeted. Carpeted? That just sounds like a recipe for disaster. And you're gonna get mold, my friend. Oh my god, this poor guy. Is he just the show's punching bag? Literally, literal punching bag. Beating him up and taking his stuff is not enough. They gotta throw a beehive at him. Justice for gumball machine guy. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't know they did a crossover with Doctor Who. That's crazy. Why is he so saggy? I'm not sure if he's sick or dehydrated, but either way, please fix him. I'm sorry, I know you're like awkward and all that sort of thing, but Go to the hospital. <laughs> if someone ever showed me a puppet like that, I would be running so fast, you have no idea. Hey, you wanna see a puppet I made? It's like a frog, but also has cheese on sticks sticking out of it. No! No, I don't. Thank you. 
the poor snake. That wasn't how I expected that to go. But even if I did think those little chicks were gonna beat it up, I wouldn't have expected them to like karate chop the snake. I thought they'd peck it. Three hours and 28 minutes of remastered pee your pants horror and gore that'll make your eyeballs barf. Wow, I didn't think we'd find such an apt description of this video. That was pretty spot on. Happy birthday, Jeff. Just drive the bus, you crazy slob jockey! He's the bus driver too! Oh my god, one of these days that character is gonna snap. Everyone's mean to him for seemingly no reason. Stop following me! <laughs> Does he not know he can just take it off his face? I'm getting more confused by the big face cat. I'm uh, not big face, he's got a big head, not a big face. That's his problem. He's got a huge head and a tiny face. Maybe if I had a little help, this would go faster. I uh, his balls must be made of lead! That's quite a line that was just spoken on, on that show. And I get that they're referencing the gumballs in his head, but still. Huh? What? Just behead someone with his foot? You know, my life would have been pretty great if I never saw that clip. Unfortunately, I have now, and that can't be changed. The damage has been done and is irreparable. And you know that those characters were like intelligent life. They know what they're doing and they're just ripping ass into his face over and over again. Yay, what a fun show. What the hell? Talking about big heads and big faces, this is a big head with a big face. Why are his arms coming out of his beard? So are his legs. One of the most surreal sights I've seen. Freaking disgusting. Thank you for that. When looking at the setup for that clip and looking at that character, you know what I didn't think? He's gonna explode green pus all over them. I'm sad. Hey guys, there was a blackout at my place, so I figured that. Let's <laughs> walk away. Yeah, he made a good decision. My man's, my man's moving up in the world. No. Why does he keep having his face hit on objects? Also, I this there's way too much detail in this. Way too much, guys. Why the butt? Why? Why is he double cheeked up? Why are you giving him that? The character doesn't need that. It's not necessary for the character design. And this guy, is he looking at it? Pretty sus. The next pie you taste will be through a tube because you'll be in a hospital bed hooked up to life support. I thought that guy was their friend. He's threatening to put him on life support? That ain't, that ain't very friendly. <laughs> Is he rubbing his face into a pizza? Was that person like, oh, in case I get into a fight, I'm going to lay this pizza down on the pier so that I can rub the guy's face in it? Or did that just happen to be there? And what's worse? <laughs> oh no. If he's reacting like that to being hit in the chin, then they're implying that the chin is, you know, his... his area. Which means that his arms and legs extend out of his genitals. And aren't you glad that that's a mental image I just gave to you? I don't know how much longer these panties are gonna hold! Are they giving a grandma a wedgie? I'm pretty sure that I can safely say I've never seen a piece of media in which a grandma has been given a wedgie. Ain't that truly something? <laughs> no! I, I hope to God they're not gonna eat it in the episode. Eating it opportunistically like the person I saw at school, that's one thing. Collecting it in order to have a stockpile to eat, that's a whole other realm of weird. I just squished it up to look like a woman's face. So that's the, that's the butt cheek from before. That doesn't look like a butt cheek to me. How do you form a woman's face? I mean, it's a talent. Maybe he can use it. He's gone places. Isn't this kind of strange? Yes. <laughs> that's what I needed. It's nice to hear at least one character voice what I've been thinking this whole time. Hey! Thanks for helping me with the website. No problem. He's got like a mad crush, right? He is obsessed. At least there's a nice romance plot for me to hold on to, maybe. Although at this point, I feel like he's just gonna be a creep about it. Thanks again for picking me as your teammate for the Game Inferno tournament. Dude, of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I pick? I thought that was gonna sweep the rug out from under me, but am I losing it? Or was that a genuinely nice moment? That was wholesome? It can't be. There had to have been another reason for that. Good, good. Gumball guy deserves the world as far as I'm concerned. I really sincerely hope that he's not like the worst, most awful person on the show. Like in his spare time, he just likes to eat babies. Otherwise I'll be out here being like, he deserves the world. The baby eater deserves everything. Really? No. I'm serious. <laughs> More. Control your anger. Oh my God. How strong is he? What? No! 
Why? Did he explode because he violated the rules? How many people are gonna die? How many deaths am I gonna witness in this video? Is that how the last episode of the regular show happens? It only ends when every single character has gone through an awful agonizing death? There's no one left and it just slowly fades out into blackness. To enter a video game competition with them when they know that they would want to- Is that him trying to win them back or something? That's just more annoying. I don't like those feather fingers, guys. Looks almost like tentacles. How did I not notice them until this point? That's aggressively uncomfortable. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sounds like me when I'm playing a game, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> huh? I could die right now with no regrets. I sincerely wish I could relate to that last sentence because if I died right now, I would have a lot of regrets. One of them being this, but also not, I don't know. It was a wild ride, it was weird, and at times very uncomfortable, but you know, at least it was interesting. It was a change from not only my normal content, but also my life. I feel like my life has been irreversibly changed by doing this video. I guess at some point I'm gonna have to watch this show, but if you want me to do another out of context video, that's fine. I guess I can do that. You just, just let me know down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time and until I see you next. See ya.